Well, can you tell? Can you tell I'm I'm having fun <laughs> down in here? Sorry if you're having a hard time understanding me, but there's, there's no way I'm going to take this mask off right now. This stuff is unbelievable. Now, that's a pretty good example, isn't it? Why you want to change these fuel filters on these cars that have sat for a long time. There's a lot of moisture that's coming in there. So uh, you probably can't hear me anyway. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go stand way over there and talk to you about this, and then, and then we'll get rid of it. This is probably going to be a pretty boring scene to you because I'm not going to stand there and point things out. I'm standing back here about 20 feet, and I could still faintly get a whiff of that old gasoline. And I tell you, I do not want to go home tonight with that smell embedded in my brain. So we're wearing the mask, the good quality paint respirator, and uh, this is kind of the final phase. You can see that's a mess. And it makes me really concerned about what may be up in the fuel injection pump and on into the injector. So my next step will be to flush the main fuel lines. I'm going to flush them using a pump sprayer while they're disconnected from the air filter. And then we're going to have to clean that filter housing out and all the fittings and everything. And then we're going to try to run some cleaner through the injection pump. Well, I have to admit that's not a real promising sign, not like some of the other things I've seen with this engine. But there, is, there are a couple other uh, signs that uh, lead me to, uh, you know, be a little patient here. I don't have to uh, quite panic yet, all right? One of them is the engine oil. Even though it's uh, slightly above the full mark, there is no obnoxious smell in this oil at all. I mean, there's hardly any smell at all. You pick up a little bit of oil, uh, you know, smell, if you know, and a, just a small amount, it, like a little bit of mix of gasoline. But it doesn't appear that anything has heavily oxidized inside the oil pan. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and change that oil, even though it doesn't look that bad and it's not that thin, I'm going to go ahead and change the oil before I start uh, cranking it, you know, even before I try to start it. I'm just going to be cranking and cranking and try to build up, you know, oil pressure and lubrication inside the engine. Now the other, I went ahead over here and I pulled, I pulled one of the fuel injectors and I pulled one of the fuel injector hard lines. Let me show you what I found. The first thing that surprised me after I pulled this hard line was there was actually wet fuel inside the line. It actually dripped out of the line and it did not have that obnoxious smell. That means it was pretty well sealed from, you know, outside air. The other thing was that I didn't appear to have any rust inside this line. And then I went ahead and pulled the injector and the injector was wet. Can you believe that? 18 years later, there was fuel that dripped out of the injector. Once again, it smelled like old fuel, but it wasn't that, that smell that knocks you over. And I actually had wet fuel drip out of the injector. And you can see here, it's not rusty. So, so may, maybe there is hope for the injection system. Now, granted, if I were going to completely restore this car, I could just tear the engine out and start tearing it all down and rebuilding everything in sight, but that's not my goal here. 
I'm, I'm really challenged to see if I can safely get this engine running without doing any major overhaul work uh, after it's had sat for 18 years, okay? This looks good. We're gonna, by the way, we're gonna put these on my bench tester to check spray patterns, and I think you'll find that very interesting. That'll come up in, in one of the future videos in this series. On a side note, um, you know, look at how, ba look at how bad uh, this uh, fuel filter housing and had a lot of rust and corrosion. And fortunately, I had a good one, look at that. I had a good one off one of my other 108s that I had kept. So that's going to save me a bunch of time. I'm not going to have to spend hours trying to clean up this, but the inside, I'm, I'm not going to show you the inside of the can on the original uh, fuel filler because it still doesn't smell very good. It's kind of, it's kind of out in the field out there. Okay. All right. So that, um, that gives you a, kind of an idea where we're at now. Let me, uh, let me explain the next step in this process. It's, it's starting to get dark out here, so I had to crank up the movie light. So this is going to probably be uh, the, the last scene for today anyway. You know, now it's uh, December 8th, and I had a little break in the weather. We had this warm front come through, and it blowing about 30 to 40 mile an hour today. And I said, now that's the time you want to work on these old fuel systems. Okay, I think, you know, I still, there's just a faint hint, so I'm going to kind of stand off the side here. But... Um, I'm getting really close. I want to get this in the shop because the, the cold days are, you know, coming and I'm not going to work on it outside. So I'm, I think I'm close. You know, we'll, we'll get some, uh, I'm going to get my pump sprayer out, loaded up with some uh, carb cleaner. We're going to flush the, the main fuel lines, make sure we get all the old fuel out of the system. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to see if we can get a little more good look at that fuel line going from the filter up to the injection pump and then we're going to take a closer look at the injection pump and then you know we're getting close here now i'm not t i'm not saying we're getting close to starting it we're getting close to spinning it over all right we're going to really spin this thing over with the starter um you know just before i do it the plugs will come out again and i'll put the lubricant down in the cylinders and then we'll just spin this baby over and spray that lubricant out of there and uh, try to build up some, you know, oil pressure and through the oil passages. And then we're going to get close. We'll, 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 once again, we'll make sure we have the camera on this baby when we try to fire up the beast. 